1784, Captain Cook's voyage were published. People took note about the wealth of timber and fur resources. Twenty years after Captain Cook stopped on Vancouver Island, nearly 200 ships came from Britain, Spain, and United States to engage the sea otter fur trade. The European traders usually stayed on board in their ships, while the First Nation traders bought the furs to their, uh, their own canoes. Sometimes the visitors were taken ashore. The First Nation people treat the visitors as chefs from the visiting village, conducing welcoming ceremonies and uh, blowing eagles down uh, as a sign of peace. However, after a short-lived international crisis in the 1790s, uh, the imperial powers soon lost interest in to the north northwest coast of Taiwan. Power were left to the far trade. Aaron was the most welcoming item to trade for First Nation people. Aaron uh, often comes from crisis to access, which is a sharper and uh, easier to use than tools made from stone and shells. Copper was and copper and uh, high damage. Copper was formed into shells that assemble of wheels. Firearm was also desired greater since they could increase the number of fur traders. There's also many other manufacture manufacturers goods for trade, such as clothing, mirrors, dishes, food items can be stored for a long period of time such as rice. The competition between in English and American trade become first alcohol become the commonly traded commons. For ten to twenty ships a year traded on BC coast during the peak years of the maritime to trade between ninety seven 1719 to 1812. After 80, 1820s, a small number of ships continued to travel to the coast of BC in the 1860s. Sea otter population uh, decreased. By the 1840s, the animals were almost gone. 15 more minutes.